In this vlog, I gear gab the single speed chain line of the red bike. I utilize the slow-mo feature of my iPhone to complete perfection again. I run into this pole and chase this guy down this trail. That's kind of it. So if you don't want to watch, just leave. Good Tuesday morning, possibly afternoon or evening or even the next day, depending on when you're watching this. Welcome to the very messy aftermath of a weekend swapping bad. I don't even really want to touch it. Swapping this crusty old stock suspension from my rabbit for some equally crusty coilovers. God damn it, it looks cool though. Let's go. I did video it. There will be a video out about it, but not in not this one. In this vlog, I want to ride bikes, Kel Surprise, but I want to start it out with uh, a little bit of tinkering. I want to try a little adjustment on uh, on the the red bike. I think I think the chain line. Whoa! I think the chain line on the hub could actually come out a little bit more. It's pretty. I shouldn't say pretty. It's like a little bit diagonal, and uh, if I move it over a few millimeters, like five between five and 10 millimeters, I think I could actually reduce some of the uh, chain slap that happens on the chain stays, straighten out the line a little bit, and uh, yeah, just make it a little better while I'm riding this thing for noise. Can you see what's going on here? Welcome to Gear Gap. I wonder if you can see how far off that chain line is. It's like, it's pretty drastic. And it takes the chain and puts it over this yoke kind of a lot. I think we can, I think there's room here to, to put it a little more like over here. Should help a lot. Let's make it possibly worse. Okay. So I'm thinking I've got a pretty large spacer right here. If I take that, put it in behind where the cog is, that's probably plenty of chain line adjustment to uh, quiet things down. That's the thought anyway. The worst part about how this adjusts though is how you move the reverse components tensioner in and out. It just sends with this huge, well, it's not huge, but this like little stack of spacers that you just put in between the derailleur hanger and the bolt. So you just take this off, put these in between, and that's how you adjust the chain line of the top pulley. And just sort of based on how much washers I have here and how big, I don't think I can actually move that much, but I could probably move. I can move one cassette spacer. So, okay, that's what I'll do. All these go in here. It's crazy to think that this is like, this is the appropriate way to do this, where it feels like just something I would do, like kind of haphazardly in the garage here. Anyway, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, that actually seems like a pretty significant improvement. As a matter of fact, the chain line has like shifted to, instead of going in, it's like mildly out, which uh, for the yoke clearance here, maybe a little bit less noise, a little bit less wear on that piece of rubber, I will take it. Okay, thanks for checking out this very short, albeit very successful, it seems, installment of Gear Gap. Subscribe for more. I'll just, there's like such great, little mountain bike banter on here. You'll love it. You'll be so glad you subscribed. We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go ride this bike now. Le Bicyclette on the, en Francais. Oh, hell yeah.
Ooh, front brake would be good there. I've only been daydreaming about that curb ride to bar into that grass bank forever. So it feels good to get it done. I definitely thought I was gonna do it on my dirt jumper. Turns out, Slope Duro. Slope Duro shows up and delivers, delivers. I do have a riding partner today. I'm going to meet up with him now, albeit I am a little bit late. He has had a mild hiatus from the vlog for the last little bit. You know, working in the film industry can be pretty time consuming. Lots of hours to work. Dan! Daniel! <laughs> oh, there he is! Look at him go! It's Dan! Oh, look how long your hair is. Tell anyone what you've been up to, Dan? Uh, <laughs> not much. So I can't tell you what this place is, but uh, it exists. Got that jump here. This step up, there's a little fork in the road here. You take a right coming down here and start heading this way. Got a jump here, bit of bike lengthish. Sweeping right hander into another jump. This one's low, about a half a bike length, bit of a roller left hander into what could be a jump lily pad type thing. So you jump over this, onto this rock, ride this pallet, or just jump the whole thing to come in here. Lots of speed, left hand berm into this step down. There is a little bit of a knuckle there that you can kind of aim for. And then you just try not go into that creek. Oh boy. Go Dan, go. Yeah, I cased it. Dan, this is future me saying something for the past, but should we just train down this and get a bunch of footage of it? Okay. We're going to be wearing different shirts, so I just have to fix that in post. <laughs> okay, I don't have a front brake, so no funny business. That was dangerous. Probably, because you do get a bit of speed if you let off the brake. It'd be real nice to have a front brake. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Oh, shoot. Oh. Shoot. Holy shoot. <laughs> Rear brake only shoot? Sure. You, you go on up there and have the camera ready. Yeah, from the bottom. Yeah. Should be fine. Dan says his bars are too wide for this but i think he's just not being creative enough personally all right a little bit of off camber here all good lots of grip bottom bracket not too low i actually don't know if i can get up this oh i can i can't No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem.
It looks worse from down here. Like that looks crazy. I'm joking, it wasn't on. <laughs> it wasn't on. <laughs> Whoa! That's a big pull. <laughs> ah! Ah! Front brake! <laughs> That's better than it was before. Too. You never, I know you never rode it before, but it's, there was some stuff in there that felt a lot more abrupt before. It all flows a lot better now. Burrito, burrito time. Oh. Oh. This might, this might actually be too big. Yeah, 2 kg easy. It's gotta be. When I saw her put the rice on, I was like, oh no. <laughs> so a few people will have mentioned that it might be kind of nice to have like one of the dropper posts that you like you grab and there's like the lever on the underneath which is a fine idea but it's just as easy to use a uh, just a quick release seat post collar it does make the ride a lot better but a much better ride is that Ford Maverick right there Isn't it sweet? So easy. 